Last time on Building Resilience, we were sticking house wrap to the walls, literally. The Hydrogap SA from Benjamin Obdike is a self-adhering WRB, so it really helps to tighten up the air barrier system. Typically, when we have a paper or a, a, a non-woven fabric WRB, and we get to the edge right here where the sheeting meets framing, we typically want to cut that and tape it so that we seal it, so we get that air seal between our building paper and our framing. With the Hydrogap SA, it is the tape. So we literally just get to the edge, cut it, bring it around, apply some pressure, and now we are fully air sealed at the framing. So my sheeting, my framing, they're all encapsulated, and I have no way for air now to get behind my building paper, uh, cross my sheeting, to my window flanges. This time we're going to take a walk through the window installation with a sticky flashing tape that disappears behind open joint cladding systems. Oh, hey, Dan, check it out. I wanted to show you the flashing tape on these windows. We're using this uh, uh, Hydro Flash UV. It's super awesome. I love this stuff. We're also going to look into a tube. In this tube, of something magical. Is something magical. So, in all seriousness, inside this tube we have some blue goo. Um, we're calling it the blue magic instead of black magic. From our good friends at Benjamin Obdike, this is a sausage gun. Uh, the stuff comes in these big, um, kind of floppy, sausage -y type things. You stick them in the gun, and then this is like a giant caulk gun that allows you to kick out a lot of volume very quickly. What's exciting about this stuff is it's a um, it's a siliconized urethane, polyurethane, so it stays flexible forever. Uh, it's very, very sticky when it comes out and it remains tacky for a very long time, but it will always remain flexible. And this is really, really kind of key when we talk about liquid flashings or fluid applied flashings, any of those materials that we want to um, cover gaps or cover spaces and be able to flex and move with the building and have that long-term durability uh, in our bulk water control areas. Our bulk water control areas basically boil down to holes in the walls, like doors, windows, wires, and ducts. The house wrap folds over the window sill for an air seal. Over that, We'll apply a liquid applied flashing, which will provide water protection and another layer to the air barrier system. It covers the sill framing and extends up the sides of the rough openings too. Because we'll have an open cladding system on the house, we'll cover all the colors on the house wrap, but more important, we need to provide long-term UV protection. That's where Invisorap UV and its corresponding flashing tapes come in. So the sill is already water and air tight, and the flashing tapes really just add UV protection to the flashing products below and invisibility to the open cladding system above. So that's the plan. Now let's see how different the terrain is from the map. To flash the windowsill, begin with a couple of generous beads of HydroFlash LA. Lay a bead in the corner where the sill meets the trimmer and go up the sides four to six inches. Spread the HydroFlash with a squeegee to achieve a consistent 20 to 40 mil layer over the windowsill. You can check the thickness with a thickness gauge. With the rough openings flashed, it's time to install the Invisorap UV. It's not really invisible though, because otherwise, how would the building inspector even verify that it's installed? I mean, come on. It's called Invisorap UV because behind the open joint cladding system, it disappears just like it should. It's also highly UV resistant, so it won't break down from exposure to sunlight. While cutting the Invisorap UV, covering it up. Saul does his best to hide the Pro Tradecraft logo on his pencil, but he can't hide it forever. There it is. He uses the edge of the table as a cutting guide, which is pretty smart, and then he staples the WRB into place between the windows and the upper half of the house. Following Saul and Steven is Michael, who's covering the liquid applied flashing with a UV resistant flashing tape that's part of the Invisorap UV system. He begins by finding the center of the flashing tape and sticking it to the center of the window opening. For wide windows, use the buddy system. Extend each edge to the side jam 
tuck the tape tightly into the corner, and then stick it up the jam. Now we're ready to remove the second release sheet and fold the tape into place. Because it's not one of those fancy flexible tapes, you need to make relief cuts at the corners and then cover the corners with a patch. If you cut just shy of the actual corner, you can bend the edge of the tape over the vulnerable spot. The jams are folded over the Invisirap and the corners patched. Now the vulnerable point is triple protected. The liquid applied flashing, the flashing tape bent over the corner, and finally the patch. Now it's time to stick those windows in the walls. Fortunately for these guys, they're carrying one of the little ones, not like this quadruple unit going into the kitchen. Because this is such a big window, Saul uses a so-called laser to align the flex points and get a perfectly flat bottom. Window bottom. The guys outside nail the corners. When they're happy that the window is square, the guys nail off the rest of the window. Steven's confident that he's not going to whack this expensive frame with his framing hammer, but secretly he's terrified that he will. Okay, here comes the fun part. It may seem a little different. When taping the flanges, roll the edge of the tape onto the actual window frame to bridge the frame over the flange to the Hydrogap SA house wrap. If you just tape the flange, then there's a gap around the entire perimeter of the window, which adds up to an air leak. Of course, it slows the taping process a wee bit, and it's not really that much fun. It's important with almost every kind of adhesive product to mash the adhesive into the substrate with a roller, squeegee, or similar pressure-inducing tool. At the head, they remove the backing paper from the sticky house wrap. Wow, that's a pretty a sticky acrylic adhesive backing. They stick the Hydrogap SA over the head flashing. Steven seals the angle cuts with a few dabs of liquid applied flashing and squeegees it smooth. Let's look around the house and see what else we can seal with the Smurftastic blue magic. Oh, here we go, a wire sticking out of a wall. After calling Benjamin Obdyke's technical department for affirmation that we can and should do this, we do this. Squirt a little goop around the wire and spread it out with a handy squeegee. Looks like the easy road to a waterproof drainage plane comes in a sausage tube. Next time, we're gonna start covering up these drainage planes with exterior cladding from Azek. All right, let's talk about cladding. So we are using uh, two primary types of cladding, PVC panels and PVC decking that's wrapped in vinyl. We already talked about the open cladding that we'll use up high, but down low, we're gonna do a board and batten detail using Azek sheets and trim with Paint Pro technology. And we're gonna do that next time on Building Resilience.